Good morning. This is my second morning video. The first one was a rebuttal to Destimonium Tremens, and we're not going back there anymore. I've had my say. But in that video, I mentioned that I sold my trailer. Um, it's actually in contract. I cannot accept the money until... Oh, what am I trying to say? Until the end of July. And they're allowing me to stay here until the end of August. Uh, so that uh, they don't have to pay the rent and expenses as they're on a tight budget too. And it would help them a great deal if I just stay and pay my own bills like I always have. Very good of them not to charge me rent because um, I wouldn't have agreed to the contract if they had. Um, I, I will pay the regular rent, the four eighty a month here. I'll pay my electric, my water sewer, and the lawn, um, but no extra, you know, to them. And I'll take good care of it, and it's occupied, and I spray for the bugs, which I need to do again. I just put out new baits, and now I have to spray the outside again because... I've got another cockroach. I can see him leaving little trails of poop. I will be so glad to be done with this. <laughs> so glad. I'm so tired of looking around saying, oh, that needs to be done and that needs to be done and that needs to be done and that needs to be done. I don't want to done. I don't want to do. I want to go lay on a dang beach. I want a vehicle and I want to go to my grocery store when I want to go to my grocery store. I can't have both. I cannot afford both the vehicle and the trailer. So one is gone and the other one's going because my car is too small for car camping or car life or van life or whatever you want to call it. I tried it already last September. It was a nightmare. So I'm looking for a full-size cargo van or a passenger van. High top would really be nice, but I'll take anything that is... 100,000 miles or slightly over. Um, I prefer a Chevy Express 2500 is what I'm looking for. No rust, uh, good working mechanical condition, and I'm hoping to keep it at 10,000 or under. And I know that's asking a lot right now, but I'm open to waiting. And my kids have said, you know, Mom, if push comes to shove, just stay in the living room of the new place. And I'm desperately going to try not to do that. So I'm really hoping that the powers that be, the creator, the universe, call it God if you will, is on my side and is going to give me the desire of my heart. And I'm going to tell you something. I write my wishes down and I've come across my wishes over the years and I'll be like oh my gosh look what I wrote down that happened that happened that happened that happened I write it down and I ask for it and I know some people oh that's so new age I don't know what it is but there's a lot of truth in affirmation manifestation Maybe it's because your brain will move toward your most, it will move you toward your most dominant thought. And my most dominant thought is more living on less money. That's what I want. I want abundance, even in the face of poverty. $883 a month is a pathetic amount of money. I mean, seriously, folks. I have gotten myself into credit card debt again. I think it's about 800 on one and 400 on another, but that's it. And um, I'm paying it. I'm paying it down, but I've had to use some of uh, the savings money that was in my savings account. And uh, that was, you know, set aside for emergencies. But, you know, I'm going to have emergency money after, uh, you know, when we close. They've been good enough to delay actual closing, not giving me the money until the end so that I can keep my food stamps because I don't have enough money for food and to pay the rent, the water sewer, the lawn, and anything else 
I might need while I stay here and uh, wait for them to take possession. This will give me time to sell furniture and goods and, you know, greatly reduce what I have in here. So I'm really grateful for that. They're really good people in that they want to work with me. And um, while they didn't pay me the top dollar I wanted, they paid me what they had. And uh, it's, it's good. I just want to tell you it's good with housing price uh you know the housing market slowed down considerably in the last quarter and more recently uh the rise in interest rates and uh uncertainties seem to be cooling down i doubt it in florida though florida is not a cool down state it's hot 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 so um yeah and I don't know if I'll be able to stay here and stealth camp if I do find my van and I'm I'm trying to be confident that I will find my van. Sometimes I get nervous about it, but I got to be honest. I've never found ever in my life that I did not have food, clothing and shelter. That's never happened. It might not have been the greatest shelter. The shelter might have been a tent, but it was a choice. When Dennis and I were um, trying to pay off our land, our first piece of land in Virginia that we bought, um, I said, hey, let's get out of this apartment and let's move into a tent. It'll save a lot of money. And back then, campgrounds were cheap, <laughs> even near the coast of New Hampshire. I need a drink. Give me a second. Pineapple juice. Oh, my mouth is so dry. Between the pollen pollen and flexoral I am so dried out <clears throat> so yeah <clears throat> I need water now I don't want y'all to be afraid for me okay and you know you're out there you're in different states let me know it's available um give me names of uh senior apartments that are you know um, you know, rated uh, low income. Let me know if you've seen a van that would fit the bill. I'm looking for a Chevy 2500 Express van. I would prefer a Chevy engine. I feel like, you know, even though they're saying there's shortages in uh, vehicle parts, um, I'm, I'm hoping if I have an older one, it might be easier to get the parts if anything goes down on it. I don't know. Yeah, my life is going to be thrown into the hands of fate. I don't know what you want to call it, but, um, am I scared? Sure. Sometimes I feel afraid, but then I'm like, I go back to the basics. I've never been without. I've never been left totally destitute. That's the truth. I've always had food, clothing, and shelter. Even if the shelter was just the tent or a car or what have you, I've never been left without. You know, and my goodness, you could go to any food pantry. And you know, food pantries around here, you can go every day if you're homeless. They'll load you up. You can't get, like, fresh meats and stuff because they know that you don't have refrigeration. <clears throat> Sometimes they don't have fresh meats. But, like, if I called one of these places, I said, hey, can you work with me? This is what I need. Can you help me out? They'd help me out. There's good people out there who care. And I'm probably going to have to rely a great deal again on food pantries because I will not have food stamps anymore because I'm going to hold the money for the trailer in reserve. I want, when the crap hits the fan and prices plummet, I'd like to maybe find myself a little piece of land, maybe a little shack with a little piece of land. I remember just before things really started rising again 
in West Virginia, I had found this little trailer on an acre. And I said to Dennis, oh, let's buy it. It was $15,000. I said, let's buy it. Let's go there. I am not going to some dumpy trailer in West Virginia. Those people are mean. We did have a really bad experience or two in West Virginia, but, you know, people were stressed out at that time. And uh, I don't think they're all like that out there. And I wish we would have bought that place because I wouldn't have lot rent, you know? But I wouldn't have Maggie, Finn, Denny, Mike. So... Somehow I'm going to find the balance. I don't know how. Yeah, RV parks around here, there's no way I can afford them. They have gone berserk. 800 a month, 700 a month. And that's if you commit to the season. Whoa! Can't afford it. Nope. So, you know, because I thought to myself, oh, I'll just take a trailer, a little camper, and I'll put it. And I haven't checked all of them. I know of a couple that are lower price, but do I want to move there is the question. And do I want to pay that kind of rent when my whole purpose is to lower my expenses get more living and life out of what I do get per month, see some places and do some things and meet new people. I just want to, I want to see. I want to experience. I want to live a little bit. You know, I've been stuck in this place and I, I do get depressed. I'm like, and, you know, I wanted to go to the pool for weeks. And I don't dare walk because of my hip and my, now it's, you know, been up in my mid-back as well. Spasms, spasms. It's very, very hard to be mobile when you have, like, stabbing, jabbing pain. And it's, it pulls and you can't really move. It's hard. I need a vehicle. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. A vehicle makes more sense to me than this. Sitting here every day watching YouTube videos. I make a little something to eat. I wash my dishes. I can't even vacuum the floors right now. I'm waiting. I'm waiting till my back is right again. And I got crap everywhere because I had started pulling things out of my closet as I was, you know, I got to go through everything, go through it again, whittle it way, way down what I'm taking with me. And now I got stuff sitting everywhere and it's like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? You know, I'm going to wait till my back feels better. I am most fortunate that I have three months and a half to get this done. I need that three and a half months because you never know with me when my back's going to take a hiatus. So I just wanted to, you know, level with you, let you know what's happening, let you know what my plans are. I'm game. <laughs> Whatever comes my way. I mean, it's not like this is the first time I've ever thrown myself to the wind. This is probably like the 12th time I've ever thrown myself to the wind. I just do that sort of thing and it always works out. What the hey? That's my story, folks, and I'm sticking to it. So, you know, if you know about anything in your area and you say, hey, you know, we've got vacancies, this is really nice senior apartments, why don't you call and Give me the number. Leave it in the comments. I'm very willing to uh, look into everything. I'm, you know, I'm game. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And I'll talk to you again soon. Now that I've let the cat out of the bag, I'm probably going to be more apt to make a video, but only if I really have something to say. Mindless wanderings just are annoying to me, so I don't want to go there. I need to have a purpose or something happy to share. 
or something crazy to share like this. Yes, I know it's crazy, but honestly, I know I'm doing the right thing. I know deep in my heart I am doing the right thing. So that's where I'm staying in my current craziness. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment, even if you're freaked out that I am rendering myself homeless, but not really. My, my kids would let me um, crash in the living room of their new place. I don't want to do that, but they'd let me if I had to. So it's not like I'm going to be out there in the heat of the day or like with rain falling on my head. Rain drops keep falling on my head. I used to love that song. Whatever. Okay, bye.